Hi, how's it going? Tom McKeown from YourTrueChange.com. Welcome back to the five spot. Today, the top five things you need to know about business networking. Okay? Uh, number one, it's not about you. When you're networking with somebody, okay, and you're speaking to them, you're getting to know them, they're getting to know you. Remember, the key is always to listen. Listen to what they want. Listen to what they do. Listen to who they are. Those are going to be key things and critical components of what you need to know in order to have enough information to know exactly how to help them. Okay? Uh, so it's not about you. Don't think, what, what can I get? Don't go into a relationship uh, networking, thinking, what can I get out of it? Don't go to a conference talking to people, thinking the whole time, okay, what can this person do for me? What can this person do for me? Because you just simply don't know. Uh, it'll all come back, and we'll get to that in a second. So it's not about you. It's about them. Always put the emphasis on the person you're networking with. Number two, okay, it's about action, not lip service. What does this mean? So many times we're so tempted to make false promises to say that we're going to do things for other people uh, when, when, when we don't. We say certain things just to be nice. We say certain things just to not sound offensive, uh, really just to make ourselves feel um, more comfortable uh, and less, un less uncomfortable. But that's not really right, right? I mean, you should be honest with people as much as possible. Um, if you tell somebody, you know what, I'm going to introduce you to, you know, my friend so-and-so who knows a person in your industry or, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to introduce you to so-and-so who I think would be a good candidate for your services, or I'm going to, you know, pass your resume to somebody in HR. Make sure you go ahead and do that, okay, because talk is cheap, okay, as they say, um, okay, money talks and bullshit walks, okay. If you can get somebody else a job, if you can get somebody else even an interview, if you can get somebody else even a, you know, coffee with somebody uh, that that um, is more appropriate for them to talk to, for them to go ahead and to accomplish your your um, or their goal, then you've done your part, okay? That's a networking success uh, on their behalf, okay? And that's a networking, um, you know, connection that you've done. Now, suddenly, you've built credit, okay, with them, and then they're thinking, gee, how can I go hence and help that person, okay? So money talks, bullshit walks. It's about action, okay, not words, okay? Uh, number three, and follow-up. This is the part of networking that 99% of people absolutely suck at, okay? Most people do not uh, write emails uh, to people after they meet people. They don't do follow-ups. Uh, they don't really take the time. And it's not because they don't want to. A lot of times they don't understand the value and they don't see the relationships and the connection in really getting to know somebody uh, for business purposes, okay? Uh, they think, well, this person can't directly help me. I mean, you know, I sell hammers, uh, you know, he or she sells cupcakes. How can they help me? They don't sit there and they don't think, okay, you know, is this person maybe experiencing the same types of financial problems in, my, in, in their business that I'm experiencing in mine? Is this person uh, working with a lawyer uh, that perhaps could be a really good, perfect fit lawyer for me? Okay, or maybe this person's brother. Uh, could be a screw salesman, and I'm a hammer salesman, boom, partnership, possibility, okay? Most people don't think that way, and that's why they don't follow up. They only say, oh, well, I'm a banker, and you're a potential client of mine that I could give a loan to, so I'm going to follow up with you, but you over there, you're not, so screw you. That's how most people think. That is absolutely the wrong way to think. It's all about follow-up. Make sure you follow up with everybody and get to know people because you just simply do not know, okay, what type of connections. As they say, everybody within three to six degrees has some importance to somebody else. So chances are, even the plumber down the street within three to six degrees has some way to help you in some way that you just simply don't know. So the follow-up is absolutely key. Get those business cards, write emails the next day. If it's really important, if you really want to get in touch, touch with that person, pick up the phone, okay? And really try to stay in front of that person. Get them on LinkedIn. Uh, make sure you Put your updates there. You send them messages here here and there, okay? Uh, the follow-up is absolutely critical, okay? Uh, number four, do not discriminate. Everyone is a partner. Now, this is exactly what I was just saying, okay? Do not just go and say, well, this person, you know, is in this industry, and I'm, I'm in this industry, so therefore, you don't know. Get to know people. Have conversations. Be yourself, okay? You're not tied 
uh, to other people because they're in the same or different careers you are, okay? You're tied because you you and that person, despite what industry or what profession they have, might have similar interests, okay? One of the things I do when I go to conferences is I go to people, and I mean anybody, and I don't discriminate, and I say, hey, when you're not around all these nerds here in this conference, what are you really doing, okay? That is what you do, okay? People then laugh, they lift up their guard, okay? I was at a conference last year uh, up in Montreal, and uh, we were having some drinks. I then went into a room, and I told this one story to a couple of people, and, I, and it happened to have the F word in it. Suddenly, the whole room starts laughing. Everyone who looked like the biggest, most, you know, pathetic, just orthodox tight asses that you've ever met, these lame people, opened up, and I realized there were all these amazing people, and they were all waiting for one shoe to drop and someone to make a joke or someone to be real and do something like what I did by saying fuck, okay? Once that happened, I got their cards. We all went out that night. We all went drinking. We had a great time. I still talk to them on this day. I've helped one of them get an internship. One, some of them have written articles for my blog, okay? All from just being real, being open, okay? So these are people who I never would have thought could have helped me ever, okay? But that's what you do. Do not discriminate, okay? And five, and this, of course, uh, is going to be, you know, best for last. Do not keep score, okay? Do not think, well, just because I, uh, you know, uh, gave a bag of peaches to Sam, he should be giving a bag of apples to me. It's not how it works, okay? Do suffer people. Make introductions. Make calls to them, okay? Uh, you know, write recommendations for them. Uh, give recommendations for them. Do every, everything possible and don't expect anything in return, okay? Chances are uh, you will be paid back in some form uh, or another, okay? But if you don't see it right away or maybe if you're getting to a point in one relationship where you say, gee, you know, I've made a lot of intros and I've you know, gotten this person a job and they haven't done jack squat for me, don't think like that. Do everything you can to possibly help in some way or some form, you will be repaid, okay? So those are the five things that you need to know about business networking that are just absolutely critical and important to form relationships, to do business, to get more leads and prospects, and frankly, to have fun. Because if, if, a, if a sixth thing is in here on top of the top five this time, it's have fun. Don't look at this as work. Look at this as you having a good time, making new friends, meeting new people and getting out there because that's exactly what it is signing off your true change uh, dot com of course this was brought to you by the body by v 90 day challenge you choose your own uh, fitness and weight loss goal uh, and then of course you join a challenge group uh, with me uh, we work together for 90 days uh, and we change your life one pound at a time tom mckeown your true change dot com